All right, let's get this on. Let's get this hey. done. Hell yeah! Maybe I won't go to prom alone this time. Maybe. I got Polly again last night. Ah uh, yes, oh, Stop getting I, Polly. Uh, I fucked up with Damien game. and then I tried to steal Zoe from Share Frank, but he got in bed with her. So I'm like, do I? I either got Polly or Calculester, man. And he I'm got like, no what? one. No, no, you did get Polly. That's right. <laughs> no, he got. Yeah, Polly. yeah I, got, I got. I got an event sequence I wasn't happy immediately. About, I, mean, I mean, I was happy about it because I think Polly. I think I have an idea who I want to go for this time. No, Polly right. is bad, but. Ah, spooky high school, the sweetest years of our lives. Back then we were young and unafraid. Sometimes reckless, sometimes brilliant, sometimes just stupid. But always willing to live life to the fullest. We were on a wild journey to discover who we really were. I'm Oz. You always love going him. I do, I like his design. Because he's black. Alright, so who's gonna go who? Who's player two? I'll, I'll pick player two, but I can't move my mouse. Uh, try Press, uh, click. Right click? Just like click, just in, click general. in general. Apparently that works. Oh yeah! Oh shit! Okay. Yeah, yeah. Took us this long to figure that out. Like, yeah, we actually. The good news is we have found out everybody likes to play different characters. Well, all not, right, James, not James. Do you want the? Do you want the big boy? Do you want the hobby? I, I would like uh, Chad, please. All right, I'm gonna go the hot bitch. Thank you, sir. Have a good day. You could change their pronouns. She is definitely a she. Oh, definitely. I'm just saying. All right, James, you're up. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. Come, come on, Chad. I know. I'm fucking. I wonder who he's gonna. Oh my god. When yeah. we when we played this uh, yesterday, Kermit, he picked Amira mm -hmm. and he typed in the name and he's typing in chastity. When I noticed something, he forgot the first T. Well, I was typing in chastity. I didn't. I uh, not chastity because chastity. chastity is not really a good name. Yeah. So is James. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> God! Fuck! Seems, mate. Ben roasted. God. Fucking bullshit, mate. I'm so sick of modding sometimes. Then don't mod, forehead. One of these days, you're the... gonna pick the default name and just go, he's Brian. <laughs> nah, fuck that. Uh, we had yet to experience its ultimate challenge, the monster prom. I remember it clearly. Two weeks were left. And as we fantasized about our dream prom dates, we were all scrambling to catch the attention of one of our eight most charismatic classmates. Scott Howell, 21. A werewolf athlete who compensated for his rather his small brain with his like stupidly condom. huge heart. Miranda Vanderbilt. A sweet mermaid princess who was as cute as she was genocidal. Aww. Waterboard me. Polly Geist, 22. Ish? A party ghost with an insatiable hunger for Ooh. all the wrong things. Damien LeVay, 21. A fearless demon with a taste for destruction and a love of fire. As one does. Liam DeLioncourt, 4XX. A hipster vampire whose standoffish demeanor hid the fact that he was truly a lovable dork. Zoe, forever? An eldritch cutie who went from endless deity of the dark realms to ultimate fangirl. Calculester Hewlett Packard version 1.0. A library computer had become sentient robot, ready to experience life to its fullest. And Vera Oberlin, 23. A mean, self made Gorgon with merciless sense of business. This is supposed to be a high school, right? Yes. Yeah. Why is there a 23 year old in a high school? <laughs> they, uh, they, in one of the events they actually, they actually talk about it, it's like, man, it sure is weird that everybody here is conveniently overage. Yeah, like, what the fuck? The youngest here is Miranda, she's 19. Yeah. Even that's kind of... Yeah. Uh... It was clear, it had to be one of them. But who? We only had two weeks to choose our prom date, and even more daunting, we only had two weeks to woo them and conquer their heart. But as already said, we were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. So I found out um, a lot about this game, including like some of the story behind some of the characters. Uh, also, you can date the narrator. You told us yesterday. Yeah, I was I'm telling angry. Kermit. Well, yeah, oh, okay. he's hidden and we can't do it yet. You have to get every secret event in the game before you can get him. Ah, and all right. That's well, going to take fucking forever, so I haven't done that yet. Uh, but here's the thing. We're playing this often. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and I, I, I've, I've done some solo runs and I'll probably keep doing some solo runs. Whoa, that's a strong beer. Holy oh, shit. Welcome to Monster Prom's stupidest pop quiz ever. All mines are rotten, but they're rotten in so many different ways. Worry no more. We're not using our PhD in bullshit to diagnose which kind of deviant sicko you are. Oh. 
Monster Prom stupidest pop quiz ever, trademark. We'll throw a bunch of absurd questions at you, turn your answer into your character stats. This way, each of you will start by having stats that better reflect your true selves. Let's start. Hell yeah, I love magazines. A distant relative you didn't even know has passed. You have to attend their funeral, but you're super hooked binge-watching the seventh season of The Office. What excuse do you make to avoid the social obligation? You're watching The Office, that's the only excuse. <laughs> I hate that show, are you kidding me? I hate that show. I hate it too. The trick to good lying is being subtle and telling half-truths. Tell your family you can't attend because you're super hooked binge-watching the fifth season of The Office. Oh, God. Oh, you got a point. You got a point. Try to convince your family that you are a flamingo all along, and flamingos are not supposed to attend funerals. Just don't go. From now on, every time a family member asks you why you didn't attend, just say, you know, and wink at them. Wink. <laughs> I almost, I almost wish it didn't have the end wink at them. Just a, you know. <laughs> no, the wink is even better. <laughs> the wink is great. I do admit, yeah. Oh, I'm trying to convince your family to be a flamingo. Hold on. Fuck. Uh, yeah, let's be a flamingo. Wait, funerals? Yeah, this is a funeral. Oh. Ah. Yeah, just in relative, oh, wait, you didn't even know oh, it's it passed. Weird. Oh, I didn't realize it said we're binge watching. Hey, yeah. Barrett. What's up? You know. <laughs> ah, I gotcha. Fuck, I want to go with that one too. I really yeah, like that. <laughs> yeah, what a shock. <laughs> what a shock. You're walking through the desert when you see turtle on its back, baking in the hot sun, but you're not Ooh, helping. Shoot. Why aren't you helping? No time, too busy twerking. <laughs> because that turtle owes me money. Because fuck turtles. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, fuck them turtles! <laughs> I know, right? The fuck these things ever do for me? I swear to God. Okay. Uh, He's gonna. Yeah, I turtles, knew it. Man. I knew it, dude. I, I oh, to. I'm so Come fucking on. bold. What will your, your dream first date be? Oh, this is gonna tell us a lot about James. <laughs> an art, ex art, ex uh, an art exhibition experimental enough to give you a seizure. <laughs> Woo, crimes. A professional meeting where you charm your date with some astonishing business advice. Sexy decompiling. I wonder who that's for. Mm. A lovely walk in the forest after rescuing your date from a dragon. I wonder who that's for. A fierce fight that starts a lifelong rivalry to become something else. Aww. Ah, crime. God damn it. <laughs> you could pick it too, but don't. Yeah, I know. Don't. I just want to be unique. <laughs> Don't pick it, because I'd rather not have all of us go for the same characters. That'd be yeah, really annoying. You know what? It makes fun, you know? Conflict. A lovely walk in the forest after rescue your date from a dragon! Yeah, okay. Fun with Miranda. Oh, no, I think that's uh, Zoe. What? Wait, what? Because that's very, like, fan fiction esque Oh, I wasn't going oh. for that one. I'm an artsy dude. Oh, yeah. that's Miranda. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh man, David! Every time, every fucking time, I get him. I played this game with David like four times. Every single time, he gets Tammy, or not Tammy, Liam. Uh, what would be a killer accessory? Sunglasses at night. At night. Fancy brass knuckles. Sailor Moon's magic wand. Woo! A fabulous purse made from the skin of your worst enemy. Oh hell yeah! A necklace with your own name, in case you forget. Logitech G560, the best RGB gaming speakers. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I like that Man, one. Man, I wonder if Logitech sponsored this game by any chance. If not, that's still hilarious. Might be funnier even if, if, if they didn't. Fuck. Oh, let's go with some fancy brass knuckles. Ooh, fuck. What am I gonna go? Mmm. You know what? Someone's gotta do it. <laughs> oh man, I was gonna do it. I'll go with that one. Sunglasses. <laughs> oh, I got a ton of points for Damien. For I'm not going for Polly, but Dude, I'm not going for the vampire. Both either. of my answers gave me points for Damien. Oh God. So I think I'm going for Damien. I have I have Liam and I have the fucking Tyler monkey, the fucking weird dude, whatever his name is, a werewolf. Scott. Scott. Scott hey, yeah. There's nothing wrong, with Scott. Fuck. All right. I'm just gonna- I think I'm just gonna have to fuck around this game. Oh man, dude. Oh, Unless if you want to, you can go to the uh, store and buy one of the event things. Yeah, I- Oh, uh, oh yeah, Ooh, I could that's do good that. Yeah, or you yeah. could get the uh, gift on, that keeps on giving, because a lot of the secret events are tied to random items you can get from them. That's fair, that's fair. Yeah, which is a little annoying, but... I mean, um, it's not pretty deep. Yeah. Well, I was gonna say I should increase my boldness, but... How does it matter? 
Jeez, You're already Christ. pulled enough. <laughs> yeah. Uh, increase your fun, I guess. Let's go to. Let's get some charm. That day, an epic dodgeball match takes place. Everything seems lost, but you deliver an inspirational speech that fuels your team's spirit, leading to a spectacular comeback. You're clearly a natural-born leader. I gain plus two oh, charm. Oh, hey, there's Cat Girl. I just noticed. Yeah. In the left. Ah. After dodgeball comes the obstacle course. Comes the obstacle. Okay. You stare across the gym at a terrified, as are most of your classmates. There are giant centipedes, venomous bears, bloodthirsty magpies circling just under the ceiling, and animals so bizarre, one can barely find words to describe them. Okay. Alright, who's doing who? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> if you guys make me do the coach, I'll do a gay voice. I'm just saying. Whether that's a positive hey, or negative. Hey, David, you wanna do the coach? No, thank you. I can do the coach. That's fine. Are you sure you don't want to hear it? All right, class. <laughs> Just yeah, do good. it. Just commit. Okay. If you want to do it, go for it. That's fine with me. I don't. I was giving you the option. Well, there you I'll go, James. It. You've, you've All right. started. <laughs> All right, class. I've imported a special course from Regular Creatures High School in New South Wales, Australia. Yeah, that explains a lot. Don't be afraid. I believe in each and every one of you. These terrifying creatures will not break your will. But who's Scott? I'm not um, doing Scott. I can do Scott. I can do Scott. I was actually going to do his voice very similar to James's for the coach. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, that's how I did. That's I know. No, I gotta. Uh, yeah, I just, yeah. You um, gotta be, do the big dumb guy. Yeah. Um, fuck, I gotta think of a voice for him. Uh, you know what, I'll just use Sefi voice. I think that could work out. Yeah, Almost. just yeah. Put, put more on the stupid side yeah. and it should hit the nail on the head. I will not let you down, coach. Giant crocs don't scare me. This is not pee in my pants. Why is he British? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's just not my voice for that character, uh, for that D&D &D character, uh, works. Well, I'll do Damien. Uh. Unless someone wants to do him better. I couldn't do a Damien voice, it's too aggressive. I love doing aggressive voices. All Go right. for it then, yeah. Alright. Finally, we're the adversaries. What's that abomination over there even called? That would be- Ah, oh, I'm doing Scott's voice. <laughs> that would be a platypus! Harry! I'm gonna drag it to hell. The underworld has never seen such horror. Never seen well, it don't just stand there. Show them what you got. Clear the course. We've got to go native, mates. Oi, hold my beer. <laughs> ah, have a look over there. They're so cute. Let's slay them with kind. Well, I mean, so you grab your, you grab your trusty Bowie knife, slam a six pack of Fosters, and wade into the obstacle course. Oh, fucking, of course it's Fosters. You dispatch That's armed platypi, fend off magpies by whipping them with snakes, and punch a koala. <laughs> yeah! Punch that koala. After winning you know, an arm wrestling cut match against uh. a drunk crocodile, you instantly become a hero. Whoa, that was awesome. You even made Coach cry. It's tears of joy. The will of youth really did find a way. Damien sees it too. I'm not crying. It's just so much murder. Now that's in the name. Your glorious oh, slaughter of endangered flashy. animals will go down in history. <laughs> you gain plus two fun and plus one boldness. And a lost boot suit from Green's piece. <laughs> I can beat that. Oh yeah, Vicky's turn. Alright, let's see. Your Honor, in my defense, it was a platypus. <laughs> Your Honor. What are my stat? I am a smart girl. Um, <laughs> I am a smart girl. You know, that fun lacking. Look at that fucking three. Oof. That day during recess, you start half an hour raid that goes full crazy. You have no idea how it escalates so much, but at one point there are like 300 people. Someone summons demons from a nightmare dimension? The consequences might distort the fabric of reality itself, but who cares? It's a rad party. You game plus too far. You see Calculus. Wait. <laughs> Calculus, they're d delicately applying water to one of his favorite little succulents with an eyedropper. Apparently he has like plants or something. Okay, I can I can do that. Yeah, oh so god, it's Leonard. So Leonard shows up with a smug grin on his Wait, shitty face. That? The Kappa. God damn. I, okay, I can do the Kappa if you want me to. I mean, yeah. Otherwise, I'm just gonna. I mean, I don't mind doing them. It's just 
Uh, you, you it's like a boy. Who <laughs> wants boy. to do calculester? I I volunteer David. That's fair. Yeah. All right, um, David. Also, I really want to see Kermit's Kappa voice. I'm curious. Yes. Hey, calculester, what you doing? <laughs> want to bring your succulents? Yeah, but you think you're a true succulent fan, huh? David. Huh? Hey, Davey, come up. We have volunteered yeah, you as Calculester. Why? Because everybody else has voices already. Fine. Come on, easy, easy. Just do a robot voice. If by fan you mean one who has a strong interest or admiration for a particular person or thing, then yes. Monotone, I could dig it. Oh, yeah? Well, you if you're a succulent fan, name three of their albums. <laughs> yeah, I'll click, I'll click. <laughs> Really good. I do not understand. Ha! That was a trick question. Not the only don't have albums. A true fan would have known that already. But I assure you, friend Leonard, I feel the closeness mechanical equivalent to love for my little plants. Love? Fandom isn't about love. It's about the watch on accumulation of memora- Wait, what? Memorabilia. How many succulent posters do you have? Zero. Sad face. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought. Meanwhile, I've got like 19. I've got more posters than I've got walls to hang them on. Looks like the only true succulent fan here is me. I'm not gonna lie, this guy really reminds me of Logan, and I do not like it. <laughs> <laughs> this claim is distressing, and yet I cannot disprove it. But you can. Time to let everybody know the ultimate standard for determining a true succulent fan. A true succulent fan has every succulent indulging the uncut versions. Including. Uh, including. Uh, and at least one succulent signed by its creator. <laughs> <laughs> a true succulent fan would actually be a fan. Ah, oh, fuck, I want to go with God. But man, this would give me some love points. Fuck it. God. But that's impossible. Calculuster, do you have all that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> you give calculus or a subtle nudge. Oh, I mean, engaging dishonesty module. Yes. <laughs> wow, I can't believe it. What was it like to meet God? <clears throat> she was very nice. <laughs> Zoe is what? nice. God is a woman now? <laughs> Fucking a <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my God. <laughs> Every time they talk about succulents, I'm off to the internet to tweet angrily at the Bible. I am relieved that he is gone, but disappointed to learn that I am not a true fan of succulents. Oh, the precious little computer man. He gently reassure him that the only requirement for a succulent fandom is to love succulent, su succulents very much. Ah, what a relief. Thank female god. <laughs> Thank female god indeed. You gain plus two charm and one fun. Oh, how the fuck do I use a controller on this game? Why, Why are, you are you using, using a, a controller? controller? Because my mouse is a bitch when it comes uh, to look. Look how fucking fast okay. it is. Try using up and down on the arrow on the uh, D-pad or something. I'm gonna say fuck it, because I want to look at this thing, but I can't do it with a controller. Yeah, you gotta lower your DPI, homie. It's just for the game, though. My normal DPI isn't as bad. Well, fuck. That day you skip class oh. and just hang out in the bathrooms because you respect no authority. I guess some people just want to watch the world burn by skipping class and hanging out in the bathrooms. You gain plus zero shits, but you gain plus two boldness. Later, you see Liam scrolling <laughs> through his phone, looking like the embodiment of a newbie. Oh god, how cringe. Why do I always fucking get Liam? I don't know. Because <laughs> you it's... always choose the hipster choices. Yeah, you fucking hipster. Yeah. <laughs> Who's gonna do Liam? Uh, uh, can I do like a hipster voice? I'm trying to think. I believe in you, Forks. Okay. Hey, Mira. What are you doing? Jesus. Talking to classmates for romantic purposes and offering rather absurd advice? Hey, Forks, a little bit more on the judgment factor. Judgment? Alright. Yeah. Uh, more magnificent! Judgment. I can use some rather absurd advice. There you go. 
I was exchanging messages with a wear koala on this dating site, and all was going well for a time. But I've grown tired of our exchanges. It's a bit clingy, and being clingy is my seventh biggest turnoff. Why is he on a dating site with a koala? A wear koala. Don't judge me, you bigot. <laughs> Right between sarcasm, illiteracy, and actually being a pickle, and a FUCK! <laughs> Not a person. Funniest shit I've ever seen. <laughs> Shut the fuck up! <laughs> I kid you not. He <laughs> yeah, himself Pickle Rick. <laughs> the postmodern protocol dictates for me just to ghost him and never talk to him again. But that's horrible. I would never do that to someone. You see, I'm Liam. Handsomely mysterious, yet a true gentleman! <sighs> but neither do I want the emotional turmoil of telling me how I really feel and having an actual conversation about it. What an ordeal. So I, oh my, how many lines? So I sent one just sending him a bunch of emojis and then never texting him again. That should do it, right? Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> I'm drinking my beer, man. The thing is, how can I convey this complex array of sentiments through the friendly language of emojis? This is your time to shine, show Liam you excel at complex sentiments so he might have error so he might someday feel like sharing them with you. Maybe croissant, school bus, shooting star, trumpet, and crocodile. This one little vampire growing disinterested and overly attached wear koala emoji. <laughs> direct so smart oh that one is clearly the best option how did i think of it which version should i choose L oh my god little vampire growing disinterested and overly attract attached wear koala or little vampire with a silly hat growing disinterested and overly attached wear koala <laughs> maybe the silly hat is not suited for the situation let's go with the classic okay dissented he texted me back. Let's see. Oh, the wear koala being understanding of the little vampire's feelings and respecting them, even if a, even if a bit hurt emoji. I'm replying back with the formally grateful and ready to move on. <laughs> oh, <laughs> they've oh. got so close to getting through this without making that joke. Almost. Look at this! He just texted me the emoji that's waving his hand, like he's saying bye with an expression that says he's going to break all bonds, but without being resentful about it. Perfect! We solved this as a team. Cheers to us! And cheers to the creative people that have turned every complex feeling and scenario to a friendly and colorful emoji. You gain plus two charm and plus one creativity. David, Enjoy I will say this. Stuff. If you don't want to do this, if you go to the shop and buy the sheet with eyes in it, it's an event sequence for Polly. I'll let you take her. Because <laughs> I've had him every fucking it's, time. It's pretty, it's pretty amazing. It, D David, awesome. anything? Didn't you say once an event starts, I can't end it? Uh, if you fail the... If you fail the first uh, stat check, the event sequence ends. I don't know if you fail later on, if it'll end too. But as long as you pass that first one, as far as I can tell, you're good to go. You, it'll, it'll lock you into the event sequence. I don't even know what a stat check is in this game. Uh, uh, when so you click that option and it was like saying like, so bold, so smart, stuff like that, that's when you, that's just telling you like, you passed the stat check. If it says not so it. and then that's that, it's you failed it. By yeah. the way, dude, for, for uh, next game, whatever you feel like you want to pick, pick the exact opposite if you don't want to go with Liam. <laughs> yeah. It'd be really funny I'm if he winds up getting get Liam. Liam though. <laughs> Alright. That day, while rehearsing for the class play, it's as though the muses themselves have descended to give you a figurative blowjob. Your performance is intense and inspiring. It will be remembered for generations, which is pretty rad by high school play standards. Plus two creativity. Yeah, Chad. Fuck off, Polly. I, I can do Polly if you want. I can do the girls she, again. Okay, first of all, she's in a plague doctor outfit. Yeah, I have a screenshot of that. <laughs> I, uh, I, for I can reasons. Do, I can do the Scott girls for research. Yeah. I swear. Scott has a tree with a bird in the glory hole. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. All right, uh, I'll do the girls again. I, I can okay. Do it. 
I'm gonna do her how I did last time. But soft, but light through yonder. <laughs> we go break your regular voice. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I feel like it fits. Joke's on you, she's got a dick. <laughs> exactly. Oh. That's hot. You wanna click, bitch? I said oh, my yeah, sentence. That's me. that's me, I forgot. It is Chad with a capital H, and he broke through a four men. <laughs> wait. A aforementioned. Aforementioned. Ah, aforementioned. Aforementioned window with an axe is now trying to murder me. Ah! Damn straight. Yes, yes, Chad, minion of the Dark Knight, kill the wizard. And I'm a tree, so everyone leave me alone. Get it? <laughs> leave? Tree? No. Leaf? Get the fuck out of here, Scott. <laughs> Having consulted with the fight captain, you managed to hit Polly with the fake axe in such a way that her ridiculously fake death is actually pretty believable. I mean, she's, she's already dead, but okay. Polly fakes an agonizing death and lays emotional. <gasps> Jesus Christ. Okay. Go get him, David, I believe in you. Our ending event witness, Polly murdered by Chad. I don't believe in you anymore. <laughs> Why did you slaughter your classmate and Pierre Paulina Geis in cold blood? This cruelty makes no sense. Listen, my robo dude, Polly is a ghost. She was already dead. Yes, but now it seems that the spirit spirit has perished. Why else would she be motionless on the floor? Oh no! Calculester has a point! All death is not All death is is not moving around anymore! So Polly used to be dead, but she was still moving around. But she's now she's not, so her ghost must be dead. Opinion validated. Concern for Polina reinstalled. Or reinstated. Do neither of you understand how fiction works? Apparently not. And if you don't find a way to sue assuage their fears. Calculester will spend forever thinking you're a mur murderer. I don't give a shit what he thinks. He's a dumbass robot. All right. So, Chad thinks either <laughs> you're right. I did murder her, but I watch as I revive her again with this magic potion from her belt. A magic <laughs> potion I call whiskey. That's definitely a Chad thing to do. <laughs> They're both pretty good Show for him, though. Calculester, that the axe is just a prop by hitting him with it. <laughs> <laughs> Not so creative. Oh, I have one creativity, I think. No, you have oh, wait, no, I got three. No, now. you had some. Yeah, you got Running some. Eternal search object whiskey. Whiskey is a type of alcohol with no restoration properties whatsoever, unable to reverse mortality. Stand up, Polly, goddammit. I don't wanna. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Look at his powers, fuck gears. Just let Chad restore Polly right now. You pour a flask of whiskey into Polly's mouth. And wait. And wait. Oh no! It's not working! Polly is dead! No, no, she's just blackout drunk, don't worry. No, I'm dead. <laughs> of course she's dead. She's a ghost. If Polina is permanently killed in ghost form, that makes Chad a murderer. School protocol demands the reporting of all murders to the chairman of murders. Let us go. God damn it. Aw, I hate to report you, Chad, but Coach always says rules are for following. That's why they're called rules and not cabbages. <laughs> what? And so they leave. <laughs> oh man, did you see the looks on their faces? Actually, face and screen, respectively. God damn you! <laughs> they totally thought I was dead, and they totally think you're a murderer! <laughs> Classic prank masters with a Z! I mean, usually Scott isn't on the receiving end of the prank, but I bet this will make him a better prankster, ultimately. Or it was just another wacky misadventure with no lasting consequences. I'm fucking kill you. I'm already dead! <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> sure, except for the part where you're detained and questioned for Polly's murder. Cause you need to miss class and lose minus two smarts and minus one fun before the misunderstanding is cleared up. Fuck. <laughs> you're still pretty smart and fun. Everybody yeah. chooses an animal. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. I'm ready. Yep, I got it. Yeah, I got it. All right, three, two, one, go. Mongoose. Baboon. Did, right, I hear, did I hear someone say goose? 
mongoose. No, I said no, mongoose. That was mongoose. Oh, Sorry, mongoose. Mongoose, baboon, I did koala, Kermit, what was yours? Rat. Rat. Alright. Alright. Players decide by how hilarious it would be if Oz died after being attacked by eight Come of on, selected animals. Come on, he just fought a koala. <laughs> By eight koalas, just like their little smooth brain ass can't even eat eucalyptus. Yeah, but it's not on the brain. James, a mongoose, a rat. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It'd be fucking hilarious if a baboon came in and smacked you with his ass. I'm just saying he just fought it. By but by eight of if you guys don't think that's hilarious, I think we should random. Oh god, I'm. I already know. I already know. I'm last. I picked a rat. <laughs> the fucking plague happened. I feel like rat would be funny. Like eight rats just somehow murdering. No, Kong. no. I I agree with. I do agree with Kermit. Rat is definitely last on that list. I think koala is A tier right here. But then again, I mean, it would be funny seeing eight fucking rats just start jumping for you like dogs exactly. trying to bite you. Just imagine I, koalas. They're so slow that have to drop on you from a tree. Guess yeah, what? They mongoose. actually call them drop bears in Australia. <laughs> but mongoose. <laughs> Fuck your mongoose. I vote oh. random then. What is a mongoose again? <laughs> it's like a little fucking. Uh, it's like a ferret, but it lives in the. Uh, uh, Africa. Oh, it's one of those things. Yeah, that would be fun too. Don't they already fucking. Uh, yeah, they're carnivorous. They already attack people yeah, like that. They are, yeah. They do? <laughs> Yeah, they're fucking Koalas drop on people from trees. They're called drop bears in Australia. I think so we good. might have to do random. I, I think I agree with enough. that, yeah. We've sat here long enough. I'm I think fine with that. Order. Yeah, I'm All right. fine with that. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! My plan has worked! Damn. <laughs> <laughs> All right. God damn. The die is cast. Fucking hell. Oh, yeah, long. The lunch. dice rolled. D20. Uh, I still don't know who to go for yet. I'm not going. No, fuck. Uh, going go to the play. shop. Yeah, if you really. Uh, if you really don't yeah, I've you. got five dollars. Yeah, well. buy the gift that keeps and on giving. No event. James, oh, you want to yeah. do this again? I guess. Yeah, you missed me and my shit, huh? Worry no more. <laughs> All this shit can be yours if you have the money. Not me though. Yes, you yeah. can. All right. What do I want? Ooh, could do that, but I. Fuck you that no, life. I already went through that. You could buy a corpse. Or the uh, ghost sheet on the bottom But line. that, that would is be Polly. <laughs> yeah. Or you could buy the I gift mean, that keeps on giving and hope it's an event item. Yeah, that is a random. What's, do you know what the corpse no. is? No. Probably Miranda, honestly. Why um, Miranda? No. Because she's... Maybe Damien no. or Liam? I have no idea. I would um. think for the corpse, it might be... I don't know. I can't it's actually... Really is anyone going for Zoe right now? Uh, don't think so. All right. Oh, you're oh, gonna wow, have a ton nice to get up. You're going to have a ton of making up though. Oh yeah, I know. Uh, oh yeah, all the profits were donated to a good cause. <laughs> By no. Okay, never mind. <laughs> all right, my turn. Let's see. I know I can go for Miranda if I wanted to. I gotta commit to the calculus, though. Oh, you're actually going for calculus? Yep, I'm um, committing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So right. I, don't know about, I don't know about you guys, but I'm not in the fucking game anymore. Oof. Uh, I somewhere. can reinvite you. It's fine. Yeah. All right. Look, man. Yeah. For, for, I've already had two fucking events with calculus. I might as well. Get him! Uh, get him away from me! Nope. You just tried to convict me of murder. He did convict you of murder. I was gonna say. Yeah, he did. <laughs> All right, can you see? Yes, I can. All right. When you revive at Scott and Calculus uh, stable, uh, Scott is there. He comes back when you sit down, truly delighted. Oh man, everybody's butt smells great today. It's like a bouquet of butts, a butt K. And look at this, Vicky is here too. Hey Vicky, I bet you also have a butt for me to sniff. David? Oh. Scott, I okay. advise you to terminate your current course of action. What? Translating previous utterance into Scott readable format. One moment, please. Scott, smelling butts equals bad. But how can smelling butts be bad when spelling butts is good? It is not good. It is bad. See also uncouth, invasive, and totally nasty. But, 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 
But yeah, I kind of figured that would happen. If Scott is malfunctioning, or he's just been distracted by some fun new butts. Either way, you need to find a way to resolve this dispute. You don't understand calculus, dear. You use complex analytic, analytical, analytical, uh, yeah, analytical uh, software to understand your surroundings. Scott's complex analytical software is smelling butts. Calculus is right, Scott. You gotta be polite and respect people's privacy. Why not present them with an official form requesting a butt smelling? That's a good <laughs> I would like a form. Oh, oh, I already have one of those. God damn it. Scott gives you a piece of paper, <laughs> purple construction paper. <laughs> he has a red kid, I see your butt white and. This is now a legally sound document. Allow me to assist. Oh my god. Michael lost to print out Jesus. 500 copies of a very official looking 500. Bu <laughs> bureaucratic form and hands them to Scott. He's clearly put some thought into this. Form A55, Anal Olfactory Rendezvous Request? Wow, it's even got a seal from the Bureau of Unilateral Tush Tasting. That's not a bureau I ever want to know about. Uh, bureaucracy can be fun. Yeah, I'm gonna go pass these out to everybody. With Scott gone, Cutcoaster prints out a single copy of a different form of hands to you. It's form ILU 6969, Romance Escalation Consent Request. Nice! That was dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. You find Damien brandishing his usual silverware, a hammer and chisel, while Liam looks on in horror. Have fun, Forks! Oh, God. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at Damien, though. Uh, uh, he, he is a cutie. Yeah, that's pretty sexy. And look uh, at those not... aviators, too. Damn! I would have gone for so bold. I, would go gay for I would go gay for him. Yeah. I could be another prince of hell. Look at those eyes. I'll be his and prince that of hell. Chiseled jaw. Well, not more like a chiseled chin. He doesn't really have a jaw. Line. And that we'll one get horn. Look at that one hard horn. Ooh, yeah. All right, James. How erected. Why is his finger bending? Look at his left hand. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's his right he's, hand. He's okay. really. Oh, sorry. Well, uh, on our yeah, side. He's, yeah. He's All really right, pushing yeah. it against his leg. Damn. Uh, okay. You can't eat that. Adding his erection. Watch me. First of all, it's made of one seamless piece of obsidian. So it's low calorie. And second of all, it's a lich's phylactery. Part of his balanced breakfast. It's lunch. You're just jealous. No, I'm nervous. Nervous that you're going to eat that, get possessed by a lich, and kill us all. Yeah! <laughs> well, Ooh. I'm nervous that that's not going to happen. It looks like these two are at an impasse. Maybe you can solve the dispute and score some romantic credit at the same time. Damien, don't eat it. You won't have room for all these baby seals <laughs> I brought you. Liam's right, Damien. You should make him eat it. It's the third oh, time I've heard someone reference baby steals. Fuck! Today. I don't know which one would be Liam. Uh, I, no, okay. So why are you going I, for I Liam? Think, no, no, I, uh, to avoid it. I oh. think I know which one Damien it is. I think it would be the I first one. You. Yeah, I think, I think you're, no, I think Damien's the second one. Well, no, because he's violent. saying Liam's right. Yeah, but this is also oh. saying Liam's right. Oh. And I, in I this wanted... one, it doesn't get eaten at all. Well, here's the thing. When, when he says Liam's right, Damien, you should make him eat it. Look on Damien's face thinking about, like, actually making him eat it. It's a Damien thing to do. Yeah, yeah. exactly. That's that's oh, what like, I think. I think you're right. Because not only that, you're stopping Damien from doing what Liam's trying to stop him to do. Not uh, to eat the obsidian. Fuck it. Yes! Oh, thank God. Yep, yes. All right. Oh, yeah! Of course! I forgot about the golden rule. Do one, do others. Whatever the hell you want, because it's funny. This guy's a psychopath. Damn, yeah, I, I know. Him. I love him. What? What? No, this is an outrage. Food, let alone inedible objects, suffused with eldritch magic. Well, there's a first time for everything. Dracula loser, down the hatch. Damien force feeds the dread artifact to Liam. He's instantly possessed with a dark energy, <laughs> as opposed to his normal morose energy. I am the Lord of the Night, the Harris Yark of Ice, Devourer of Joy. Haha, <laughs> what a nerd. 
Liam has to go to the nurse's office to get the curse removed, but you and Damien rob a bank to celebrate. <laughs> Fuck yeah! Fire! <laughs> I'm surprised no plus I didn't monies? get plus money for that. Yeah. Uh, David? I just realized we took oh, his man. <laughs> <laughs> uh... You got four He's babes. Moving. Okay. I, I can still do Vera if you want. Thank you. You arrive at Polly and Vera's table to find them yeah. eating. Wait, both of them? Oh, yum yum! I sure do love food and eating. Look at this food go in me. Sh should I do uh, Vera? Because I can do it. If you want to, Five go weeks. for it. It's fine. Five weeks of prime. <laughs> mm, yes. The cafeteria sloppy <laughs> joke yeah. has some right. humor profile. You should see Zoe. <laughs> Finally, you notice the cause of this absurdity. A well-dressed oh, businessman this. sitting at the next table, watching both women intently. Oh yeah, I know you like this, baby. My eating is realistic and erotic. <laughs> Be cool, Polly. The man wants to pay for us eating in front of him, not screaming about eating. Is that not what eating is? I forget. Oh, she looks While so Sarah sad. tries to explain eating to Polly, the businessman shyly approaches you and gives a small bow, a uh, small bow. Much obliged, friend, he says in a soft voice. Are these two fine ladies your friends? I must confess that I have searched far and wide for a suitable candidate to fulfill my rather unusual fetish. Paying a student at a high school for monsters to eat food while I watch politely from a distance. Hmm. But I find myself unable to choose which of these two beauties to hire. The snake-headed one possesses a, great, uh, a certain grace. Yeah, yeah, pay me, motherfucker. Pay me to do a thing I was going to do anyway. But the translucent one has such passion. I don't even want the money. This is just fucking weird, and I love it. <laughs> In your opinion, the businessman finishes, which would be the wiser choice on my part? The Gorgon, obviously. Look how many mouths she has got on her head. The ghost, for sure. I've never seen someone eat so convincingly. So who are you going <laughs> to go for, David? Yeah, this is going to decide who we know you like. Yeah. Either a big titty ghost... Else. Or a lame ass door. Yep, saw it coming. The business nods thoughtfully. You know, you're right. Never before have I believed so fully that someone was actually eating real food. Yep, that's me, eating real food with my real mouth and teeth. <laughs> Are you God. kidding me? That's convincing to you? The food is falling right through her body onto the floor. Don't hate me just because I'm, I'm efficient at eating. <laughs> Don't worry. I eat for other, more private reasons. What? Sorry, can't hear you too busy eating real food. You team up with Polly to make your eating even more realistic. She passes her fruit through her body to you and you eat it for uh. her. It's pretty hot. Uh, that's boy. kinky. Uh. I'm not sure about that. Everybody chooses an object. Say your choice out loud for the rest of the players before clicking. My object yesterday was perfect. I'm ready. Uh, I don't um, look for an object. I'm already tipsy. Uh, from a beer? Or from four beers, excuse <laughs> okay, me. Okay, that's better to know. Uh, okay, I think I, I got two. mine. Okay, I got mine too. Alright, three, two, one, go! Vape, dildo. Screwdriver. <laughs> Dagger. Dildo? <laughs> Dude, Players like, decided strength? based on, uh, vape. How useful the selected what? object would be as your well. only belonging on dessert. <laughs> well, okay. Okay, so wait, what was ours again? Dildo, <laughs> screwdriver, uh, Oh, you said dildo, right. And... Knife. Dagger. Dagger. <laughs> dagger. Come on! Dagger? Yeah. Bro. I picked dildo. Pass the time, boys. Honestly... <laughs> wait, yeah, what was yours, David? Mine oh, was a screwdriver. Okay, well, screwdriver would be fucking... Well, yeah. it is metal. I can stab is... stuff. Yeah, you Fair. can still okay, use it yeah. as a knife. And then... What was yours again, Frank? So I dildo said dildo and So it's between a vape and a dildo. <laughs> yeah. I mean, at least dildo is like... Well, they're both, both of them is used for pleasure, but, but for yeah. do two different things. Yeah. yeah, and dildo doesn't run out. Oh, that's <laughs> tough. I mean, with vape... Oh, I mean, wait. honestly, Frank could probably find a way to make more vape juice out of all this shit. On <laughs> yeah, it's used coconut or something. Oh. <laughs> oh, man, that'd be the worst flavor ever. Uh... <laughs> Actual coconut juice. I guess I'm just gonna stack creativity and hope for the best with the Eldritch bitch. That day, while rehearsing for the class play, you totally forget your lines. It's terrible. 
But you don't let that get you down. You start improvising all your lines. And it's marvelous. Somehow it enhances the pathos of the play in unexpected ways. And that's saying something. Since half your <laughs> improvisation is a rap battle against your inner fears. You gain plus two creativity. Oh no, social interaction. Fuck! Hey, Chow, the capital H thought I got convicted of murder. Darling! It's me, lovely fan favorite Polly. You I have four fun, go away. <laughs> you know, I wasn't always a ghost. No, not doing the Romanian Wilkinson. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> no, no, I'm trying to talk here. No, Come on, man. Let me no, finish my. Yeah, come on. No, I got a story to run here. No, it's your fan no. favorite Polly. Come on, man. I just only no. got you convicted once, sexually. No. No. You're still a murderer. No, I'm calling I'm the police. I'm not buying. I am what? not buying what? the penguin mask. Oh well. <laughs> I'm gone. You passed bomb. it. Just create him. <laughs> you swiftly hide, leaving behind an exact replica of yourself made of macaroni and play doh. Whoa, Chad with an H. I don't know if it's just me or all the smoke I'm mailing. You suddenly seem more attractive. Oh, <laughs> damn it. You look just like someone who knows how to enjoy a good reverse from any Wilkinson. <laughs> oh, <shit>. Perfect. <laughs> Your plan is working just as intended until Polly pets your replica on the shoulder, making it fall to the ground where it tragically breaks. There, now uh, you're the murderer. Uh, 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 <laughs> suddenly turning into a load of macar macaroni. Classic Chad with the capital H. <laughs> Not gonna say anything to reply? What if? What if we go full reverse for a minute and we'll get sent a prom night? What? <laughs> you bring supplies? I'll bring all my sex replies. <laughs> you know what? Oh, you know what I'm talking about. Do you soon, Chad? I've recorded two games, and in both of them, James has had this event. Uh... I've looked up what that means. A freaky and indescribable sex move involving a penguin mask, a bag of marbles, and a kilo of guacamole. Yeah. Yep, that's it. All what you need to know. All are you need to know. Are you recording this game, Frank? I am. Good. <laughs> <laughs> she totally figures out after talking to what is clearly a bunch of macaroni. Let's not judge that. The important thing here is that you might have gotten yourself tickets to the wildest night of your life. No, I have not. No. <laughs> You're never gonna what get the, the penguin the mask either. Manian Wilkins, I have zero money. It's I know. impossible. <laughs> it's, what are the supplies? It's actually For impossible now. to do on a short run. Because it's For now you at least gain plus three. Points. Oh no, it's not impossible because you only need two money, so you could technically get it done. You have to yeah. spam. Though. All right, <gasps> David, you're up. David, he's just thinking. Oh, okay. Oh, just going right in for it, okay. I'm out. I'm getting a complaint. <laughs> yep. That'll increase your boldness. Mm. Or you get the secret gift. <laughs> yeah. Or get yeah, the okay. red ass sun. Wait, you're going for Polly. Get the sunglasses. I was hoping the uh... the gift that keeps giving will give you a random item that might get you an event if you really want to. Yeah. It might also screw your staff. Yeah. It happened yesterday. I don't care. Oh. oh. Oh, oh zero! Wow. wow! What the fuck? I told you to go for the sunglasses. Oh man's got a GG! That's a GG! Alright. Dude! So, let's see what I've I never do. seen that item. Oh, I got a trophy. Yep. <laughs> there it is. Oh, oh my surprise. god. Oh, you know David. What? Let's get some boldness. Oh my god. <laughs> that day you skip class and just hang out in the bathroom because you respect no authority. On the way there, you run into Mamimi, the Oni girl. She offers you some of her weird Japanese energy drink. Who can do sip. the best Japanese voice? Oh, she doesn't talk. Yeah. Oh, okay. She's not a character. Take a sip. Oh, I was thinking of the uh, the blue chick. The blue chick? Mm. Yeah. With I don't think I've seen her yet. Yeah, her oh, name's yeah, Dahlia. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I am. Uh, it tastes crazy as hell. You need to check the contents of this shit. G Gararana seed extract. Benzonic acid, 50 mg of caffeine, 100 mg of boldness. Wow, wasn't that bad at all. Game plus two boldness. Thanks, uh, Mamimi, and proceed to the bathroom. The whole time you've been there, Kaki Lester has been standing motionless in front of the mirror, gazing at himself. It's starting to creep you out. So you ask him what's up. 
Hold on, I'm eating. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you're a robot. You can't eat. Oh, hello, friend. Pay no attention to me. I'm merely conceptual. Fuck. Contemplating. Cont contemplating my lackluster appearance. What do I mean by lackluster? Well, Webster Dictionary defines lackluster as lacking in sheen, brilliance, or vitality. Dull. Mediocre. But in this context, I specifically mean that I lack the myriad customiza or customization. customization. I was right, but options available to my more handsome classmates. I have no hair follicles and thus no hair to style. My skin is made of metal and plastic, not ideal for the application of makeup. How will I ever become hot and sexy if I cannot tart myself up? Oculus's mournful assessments of his hotness tugs at your heart heartstrings. Surely you can bring some way to jazz up his robotic looks. A dildo. Alright. Real sexiness is 90% posture. Strike a pose like this one. True beauty is on the inside, which is why you need to, to install a really sick graphics card. Yo. <laughs> Facts. Real sexiness is 90% posture. So charming. Uh, you strike your sexiest pose, which I'd call the incorrig- <laughs> wait, what? The incorrigible bush baby. Incorrigible bush baby. Calculuster is intrigued. Topographical analysis indicates a 12 degree chest inversion and a 5 degree eccentricity and groin angle. Thigh gap 3.1 millimeters. Relating objective post sexiness, please wait. Analysis complete. Post rates an 11.5 on the Bushemi elbow. It's a fuckability. Bushemi elbow analysis. fuckability. Jesus ah, shit. Warning: cotton is critical. Systems overheating. Heat sink required. Vicky, may I please rub my chest? He can certainly. <laughs> wow! Oh, he has a dick on his screen. <laughs> may I please rub my chest? He can your body for purely mechanical reasons. You're happy to help Calculus or bleed off a little heat, if you know what I mean. If you know what I mean, please tell me, because I'm not sure I do. Anyway, you get plus two fun and one boldness. Yay, I get to go. Let's get fun. That day during recess, you start a half hour rave that goes full crazy. At one point, Juan, the small magical Latino cat, slips on a banana peel. You start to laugh at him. What a dumbass. He asks you to stop, but you don't. You laugh so hard at him, you somehow steal plus two fun from him. Hooray! The moment that ends the sound of masculine energy, if it had a sound, fills the air. Come at me, four-legged legged fuckwads. I think David should do a yeah. wolf pack. Yep. Yeah. I agree. I'm fucking eating, bro. Come on, no, nah, show us what you got. Show us your out on her. Give us a good voice. Do it. Come on, Come on be a Turn into a do fucking it. Kyle. No, Chad. Full Chad, right? Well, actually, no, Kyle, yeah. Perfect yeah. Kyle. Just imagine you've got a monster in one hand, the other hand's through the drywall. Go exactly. for it. Just do it. <laughs> Look, bro, just stop hanging. You I'm son joking. of a bitch. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm not okay. <clears throat> Look, bro, just stop hanging with our cousin Sky and he won't beat you up, okay? School and all, dude. Fuck yeah. No, it's not all oh, cool. I'm gonna hang out with that dumb mutt whenever I feel like it. Kinda because I like him. Mostly because you can't control me. Scott's a wolf. He begins with a wolf pack. Well, what do I? What the fuck am I doing now? Why are you going? What gay? do you have that we don't? <laughs> I don't fucking. I'm not good with voices. Nah, you guys. You Muscles, we got those. Sharp teeth, we got those. Independent thought, maybe. That's it, Fireboy. We're sending you straight to hell. I mean, fine. Bring it. Uh oh. Damien's not exactly helpless. Well, this is a four against one. Get in there and help a demon out. Guys, guys, guys. What are you talking about? Damien is a werewolf. Rap battle! <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling that's creative. I'm just so curious about the rap battle. But so you know, am I. No, but I'm, gonna pa I'm not going to pass that. Yes. Hey. Oh. Charming. Huh? I, I knew that was gonna be charm because I, I feel like charm is more like uh charisma. Yep. Ah, uh, yeah. Kind of how I put it. Yeah. What? What do you mean, Damien's a werewolf? No, he's not. 
No, uh, I totally am. I mean, there's no full moon right now, right? Right. So what are you when there's no full moon? Not wolves. Right. If someone was a wolf when there's no full moon, he'd just be a regular wolf. Or a wolf wolf, which is a wolf that turns into another wolf when there's a full moon. Shut up, dumbass. Um, right. So werewolves are not wolves when there's no not a full moon. Now then, tell me. That actually reminds me, I had a character concept for D&D where it was a uh, tabaxi ranger, not ra uh, ranger, uh, yeah. who just turns into a bigger cat. <laughs> you know what I've always questioned about this entire statement? What? Yeah. If, if they can turn into wolves during a full moon, what's that behind the wolf pack? Yeah. More are they wolves. the wolf wolves? Are they the wolf wolves? They are yeah, the wolf that's the wolf wolves. Pack. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> what am I right now? Not a wolf. Exactly. What? Damien, bro, you were a werewolf all this time and you didn't tell us? How humble of you. There you go. Uh, sure. Might say I'm. Where, cocky? Because I only brag once every full moon. But wait, you're not the only one who's not a wolf right now. That means... Oh, fuck. <laughs> that everyone else might be a werewolf, too. Look at Vera, she's not a wolf right now, so she could be a werewolf. Fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> no. no, we're gonna leave it at that, just the fuck off. <laughs> or Liam. Liam could be a werewolf. What? Look at the tree over there. That tree isn't a wolf right now. Maybe... Maybe the tree is a werewolf! The tree gives no response to that assumption. May, may that myster, mystery remain unsolved. Sorry, Damien. We gotta go. We need to find out who else is a werewolf. Glad to know you're one of us. We're scheduled to smell each other's butts at 5pm. We hope you join. Damn! That was too stupid even for their standards. I'm just that charming, damn it. <laughs> Those right, dumb boss. mutts will probably figure it out eventually. But until then, I owe you one. You hope that one is one prompt date. You gain plus two fun, plus one boldness. Hell Not yeah. likely. <laughs> that weekend. <laughs> Come on, me. Come on. Give it a Always me. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> I haven't gotten it once. <laughs> it's the weekend, which means it's time to stop studying hard and caring about school. Which are definitely things you do. And start partying. You're out with your absolute fave party monsters, Liam, Vera, Kaikluster, Polly, Amira, and Chad! Who are yeah. all rocking out with some sick tunes. Woohoo! Yeah, sick tunes! Party party! Lit! Catch phrases! Woo! <laughs> Fuck, why is every time I'm eating? <laughs> <laughs> electronic music, the music of my people. My people being literal electronics. Plus, if you put one earbud in and play Tchaskovitz, I don't know, on your iPod, the mix of sounds becomes an ironic commentary on the mix of old music with the new. I'm faggot. It's pronounced Tchaikovsky. Yeah, I don't give a shit. And I like it because there's not enough monsters on drugs here that can charge them an entry fee to a club they're already in and don't even notice. Jeez, I love it. But it's at that it. moment that something absolutely, completely, completely horrible happens. They all get shot through the head. Great. Okay. Wait, who, who was clicking before? Okay, I'm gonna click. I'm gonna I click. was gonna say it's your turn. You, it was yeah. probably you. No, I was what? not. My oh. hand was up. Yeah. They're closing the club. A preposterous idea. <laughs> I just swallowed my own spit. <laughs> Good job. <Liam. laughs> Good uh, go on, yeah, Liam. Go on. Practicing for all that dick I'm gonna be deep throating later. I haven't started my EDM Wagner's The Ring Cycle mashup. Why would they do that? Fuck! Friend <laughs> 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 Liam, a quick search indicates that 6 a.m. is a legal closing time for clubs and that. F fiscally. Fiscally? Yeah. It would be illogical for them to keep the club open any longer. Oh, hang on. Yeah, DC. Yeah, I DC'd. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we can see you uh, oh, flailing the mouse around. Yeah, I got I, I got DC'd. It was uh Yeah. 
It is what it is. It is what it is. I'm coming back. Oh, Leo's got the same border as I do around his profile pic. What a bitch. That's I'm here. Gay. Let me see if it's moves. Yeah, I want to see what board is you guys. Ah, okay, I'm here. Oh, yeah, of course you went with the anime one. Akiyamara, yo. I almost got it. <laughs> yeah. There really isn't any good ones, though. That was, like, the only yeah. one I was like, ah, it's okay. I'm probably not going to get any border. Fiscally yeah, enough for who? Good. Not me. One more song! One more song! One more song! Everybody chant with me. No. <laughs> one more song! One more song! This is not going to work. I have a feeling I know one of one of your options is going to be. <laughs> it's hard for you to step up and get the club to play another song. We don't have to do it alone. Just grab your most persuasive, most charmingest friend to help you out. <laughs> mm, 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 yeah, I hate no. that. No, 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 no. Look what he, look at the item he has and look remember what it does. Oh, it yeah. please, there's, please don't. <laughs> there's no of point. Of course you must pick Chad and your knowledge of... 7-Eleven. Yeah. Amir is used to persuading the owner. In fact, this club used to be a Chinese restaurant until one day Amir was like, Hey, can this be a nightclub? And the owner was like, yeah, totes. And transformed it on the spot. You know 7-Eleven? Used to close at 11 p.m. until Chad asked them to keep it open longer. Yeah. And they were like, yeah, totes. And immediately kept it open. Chad Wait. practically lives in 7-Eleven. I got you, Chad. Woo, yeah, Chad with a capital H that I got convicted of murder. Do the thing. Use the plus charm. <laughs> invisible people. Invisible people? Polly, what are you talking about? Uh, I can very clearly see the club owner and all the other patrons right there. Shit. Go on, Hunger Man. <laughs> Visual input indicates that this is true. The club is incredibly crowded. Why can friend Polly not see this? She's probably just high in super shrooms again. There's like shrooms, but super. Chad doesn't seem to be concerned about the club owner's visibility one way or another. And instead, right, right, ah, walks right up to him and demands the club stay open for one more song. As one oh. does. <laughs> the club owner concedes, and since he is a many-headed hydra, he admits that he has never had someone make such a ballsy demand right in his face. And face, and face, and face, and face, and face, and... In fact, he's so impressed that he merely wants to make you co-owner of the club. Huzzah! He had home to get some sleep, giving you a set of keys to the club and telling you that you can keep it open and have it all day Sunday, too. And every Sunday, oh they're after God. <laughs> the first act as co-owners is to change the name to Hydraulics by Hydra and Vicky and also Chad. Yeah! He has to say, it just immediately nets you both. Plus two fun, plus one boldness, and plus one dope... Wait. Dope uh, nightclub. Oh, dope nightclub. Hell yeah. Good fist bump, Chad. Hell yeah. Ow. <laughs> Everybody chooses an occupation. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. I got mine. I got mine. I got. Uh, I don't. I don't want to pick the same one as last time. I've got it. Three, two, one, go. President, Cashier. YouTuber, Jizz Mopper. <laughs> okay. Decide based on how weird it would be if it, to have a, see a slutty costume based on well, I lose. I Wait, what was President. I said YouTuber. <laughs> Yep, president's YouTuber, number one. YouTuber, president, Jizmopper, and what was the fourth one? Well, cashier. It'd be, it'd be between uh, me and David, because I would say David's a janitor, technically. Yeah, I... Uh, well, you specifically said Jizmopper, so that'd be like a, someone working in a porn studio. That would yeah, be but weird, I just someone in a slutty costume cleaning up Jizz, though. Yeah. Um, and then that's I had cashier, Frank had, what was it? I said YouTuber, so I'm last, because, you know, that's yeah. already their outfit. I mean, yeah, Belle Delphine, she's back <laughs> and everything. Dude, yeah, have you seen her video that He's came mad, out? she's yeah. mad, he's mad. <laughs> she's basically a softcore porn. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, she's an And she didn't get demonetized for it. Fuck, no, she didn't. But a YouTuber, oh, yeah. get, a YouTuber says fuck once, and they're like, oh, god. Oh, god. look at all my, look at all my perfect stats, wow. <laughs> that Dude. Right oh my lacking. god. I'm You're so fucked, sorry, dude. David. I told you to get the glasses. You could have gotten Fuck yourself, James. <laughs> I, you should have listened to Chad. Uh, no. <laughs> that day, while rehearsing for the class play, you can't help but feel that you're not as good as the other roles require you to be. Or the requires you to be. There doesn't seem to be any ordinary way of getting yourself there, but there might be an extraordinary way. You summon the devil, one of many, and make a deal to enhance your creativity just a bit. 
gain plus two creativity. You also lose negative three years of life as your end of the deal, but who cares? They weren't happening in the game anyway. You're rehearsing a scene from A Tale of Two Bit Processors, and someone left. Wait, did somebody? No, hear? I don't think so. Oh, I heard a, the fucking sound. David, you here? Oh, shit. Yeah, ah. I'm eating. Oh, there oh, okay. okay, never mind. Uh, Everyone's here. Buster and Miranda. That's not going well. Uh, I can do Miranda, yeah. Here, little friend, let us try a theater game to loosen you up a little. Hey, David. Fucking bitch. <laughs> I just want to let you know, David. What are you Because I'm hungry. <laughs> if my bullets were to be loosened, I would collapse. No, Calculester. Let's try some improv. Remember what I taught you? Yes. <laughs> and... <laughs> Close enough. Now returning to the now returning to the text of the scene. Alas, it appears the one who has stolen my jewels was you. Error and valid input. I have not stolen nor would I ever steal any jewels from you, friend Miranda. I can't work under these conditions. Miranda storms out in a huff. Surely there must be some way to get Calculuster back on track with the play. How can you make Calculus to understand how fiction works? But you have stolen the princess's jewels! Check in your bag! Then frame him by putting some random jewels you stole from someone else in his bag. Calculus, your theater is about fiction and the superstition of disbelief. It's too hard to explain it to you through spoken language. I want me to explain it to the language of salad. Well, I'm feeling that okay. second one is, uh... Creativity? Yeah, you could probably make that What would the first one be? That'd be, be boldness, I, th it? I think it'd be boldness, yeah. That or charm. Yeah. So no matter what, you got it good. I mean, look, I, I did rob some jewels. It'd be a lie if I didn't. Wait, smart. what? Smart. I okay. That's good to know. Sure. All right. <clears throat> I'm afraid this insuation is preposterous, friend Vicky. You see, my mortality module would make it impossible for me to have stolen anything. To do so would be to harm an organic life form, and we all know Asimov's first law of robotics. Kill everything. Out of respect oh, for you, really I sorry. would be coarse. I will, of course, look in the bag, but as you can clearly see. Oh. Here are the princess's jewels, which means I have stolen them. Which means a seal is <laughs> not actually harmful. Jesus! As I always thought it was. Thank you for opening my eyes to this excitingly new world, Vicky. <laughs> I've always wondered what it would be to steal. Every Grand Master Thief's first thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> Running scan for emotions, guilt, regret, sadness. Complete. <laughs> nothing found. I now understand the inch of theater and of stealing. Calculuster is going to crush his role in the school play, <laughs> and he also joins a crew of, of near duels to pull off a many exciting and amazing heists. During that time, he steals a licorice licorice sculpture. Yeah. yeah, yeah, licorice. Several pots and pans, and learns to smoke cigars with his USB port. That's awesome. What a good Chad, understanding of acting and theft, and an appreciation for you, and you gain an appreciation for plus two fun and plus one creativity. Nice. Zero stats, you can do literally anything you want. Mm. Yeah. See. You could get another mystery gift. Yeah, if you get a <laughs> commit. Um, that I don't, I don't know if- only good idea. I don't you know, think I'm a player gonna be honest, more my than smarts one. is pretty low right about now. Hmm. <laughs> I don't think a player can buy more than one mystery gift. I think they'll be available to other players, but I don't know if he can buy one. Okay. Uh, I don't even have money to buy another one. Uh, mystery <laughs> the well, the mystery free. gift is free. Should I try? Uh, I mean, do any what, what I other mean, option do you have? You got yeah, David. Got... No offense, but and besides, you bucket. really don't got anything yeah. going for you. Oh, yeah, it's gone. Nope. Bad. All right. Oh, you oh, well. can't. Um, uh, go to prom alone, man. It. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I was already planning on it. <laughs> oh, so sad. <laughs> Chad. Oh, <God>. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I like that. It's like, oh man, I got Liam. Well, guess I'm going alone. <laughs> Yeah. Um. Let me get some fun because I haven't even talked to Zoe yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, half know. hour. Half hour. Ready. 
Excellent. Now I'm talking to Juan, the small magical Latino cat. When he tells you that you won't ever be it, what a fucker! I'm gonna stab him in the gut. I got oh. kids. Oh, I, got him. I, I did too. Son of yes, a bitch. I, as did oh, I. Oh yeah, it seems to have closed it down entirely. Weird. Oh, hell yeah. Um, oh dear. It couldn't take me half zero stats. <laughs> oh yeah, because it signed me out of the friends thing. Ah, that will do it. Not play. What it is. Hey, did you guys hear about the guy that's suing Twitch over 25 million over suggested content from female streamers? Wait, for what? Huh, I had not actually. Uh, so there's a guy. It's actually, it's entirely satire, believe it or not. Yeah. Because he spends his life suing companies and fans. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, but when checking his account, I believe he follows over 250 female streamers and no male streamers. Jesus. Wow. So I feel like it's satire and he's just suing for the sake of suing to be, you know, yeah. Annoying. But I'm questioning, how do you get that much fucking money to sue? Wait, what is he suing for? Uh, suggestive content. Uh, on uh. his actual fucking, uh, you know, report. Uh, I don't really know the big details. I'm gonna give you what I do remember in the top of my head. He's suing them for the fact that he- Oh, I actually have it right here. Do you guys want me to read it? Oh, uh, uh, sure. How yeah, long go for is it? it? Uh, that's a, yeah, that's okay. a good question. How long is the article? Uh, I'm gonna read one right now. He's got three. He's got three examples. Okay. Okay. All right. uh, example A: The plaintiff had purchased a flashlight previously, which went largely unused until Twitch began using the device while he was watching his female streamers, and often ends up chafing his penis every day with the device. Y you get ah. it. You get it at that point, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. I know. I, I can so what you're telling me is it's Leonard. <laughs> yes. It's. So, I feel. I have. Oh it has to be satire. It definitely seems like it. Yeah. How could you afford suing a company? Won the lottery. Rich parents. Good inheritance. Yeah, the rich are really bored. Yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> All, right. All right. So you accept the challenge. You go straight to Bob. Stab him several times. Open his bleeding chest and eat some of his guts in order to consume his fun. Why? Hong Kong. Hong Kong. Hong Kong. And, uh. There we go. Really? Do you think that's how this works? Well, but it is. You gain plus two fun from poor, poor Bob. Oh, <laughs> God. His shoes will never squeak again. Squeak, squeak. In his nose. It works. Uh, <laughs> Folly seems really excited about trying a reverse Romanian Wilkinson with you. Damn right. This is the third time. Stop getting folly then. And the only thing <sighs> fucking try James, so I will hard. go out of my way and try to get this event done. That way maybe it won't show up for you in the future. <laughs> and the only thing you have to do is get all the needed supplies. Which will be fine. Except you have no idea what any of them are. Except I do. <sighs> uh, yep. Uh, weird <laughs> sex fetishes, nothing. Keep uh, leave me alone. Big, big city goth GFs. They're always bitching, yes. Maybe I'm just not searching hard enough. Alright guys, let's uh let's let's keep looking. I mean you could just do the other one now. You could try the uh, phone one. You, you, I you, am. Yeah, yeah I am. Jad tackles online searching in a very short, short sighted way. I need to come up with unexpected search terms. That will point in the right direction. God damn, so creative. creative. Reverse Romanian Wilkinson didn't work. We also tried other similar combinations of words, such as Romanian Reverse Wilkinson, Wilkinson Reverse Romanian. Uh, it was mostly just and backwards. This is the Wilkinson. <laughs> yes. Very weird sex finishes is too generic. While I, <laughs> I want to have sex with a ghost. It doesn't work because it's also the title of a popular MTV reality show. I believe that. Yeah. I, I would not doubt that for a second. But then you suddenly have a stroke of divine inspiration. No, I don't. You type. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Three yeah. Three ways to get deported from Denmark. Wouldn't that, that yeah. just be like shitting on a Lego brick? Nope, it would be the reverse Wilkinson. <laughs> yeah. And it works! Apparently, getting caught practicing a reverse Romanian Wilkinson is number seven. 
Well, there goes my dreams of finishing college in Denmark. Which is actually a dream of mine because I have a EU passport. Right before trying to marry a barracuda and asking politely to be Den deported <laughs> from Denmark. There goes plan number two. Looks like you need a penguin mask, a bag of marbles, and a kilo of guacamole. Are you quite sure you spotted someone from your class selling a mask like that the other day? And nobody online will mail you a kilo of kilo. <laughs> And nobody online will mail you a kilo of guacamole. Probably a health code thing. As for the bag of marbles, this is why God invented Craigslist. You write an ad, and suddenly you're receiving tons of messages about it. Most of them are spam or very inappropriate sexual advances, but some of them are actually people willing to sell you a bag of marbles. Nicely done. In the end, it turned out to, again, exactly like that old toy commercial jingo. Marbles, marbles, you never have enough. They're perfect for booby chaps and for super weird sex stuff. And as for you, you're the sultan of the search engines. Now you have the bag of marbles, it's time to get the penguin mask, and before you start worrying about the guac, but for now you gain plus two fun, and you bargain so well with the Craigslist dude that you actually get plus one money. Okay. All right, time for Oz to do something. Good luck with that. Fun. Come on, Oz, you know what you want to do. Well, I can't have fun. But you can charm. Yeah, you're right. I can. <laughs> that day, you spend some time on the library PCs playing some good old online poker. Gambling oh, yeah. also, seems like a- Also, don't be surprised if Chad disappears out of nowhere. Right. Uh, gambling seems like a stupid and dangerous decision. But who cares? This time it pays off, so fuck it. You gain plus two money. You see Damien getting the piss, beating the piss out of a goblin like he always does when he's depressed. You go over and ask him, what's up? It's this whole hair to the throne of hell thing. It's really bumming me out. I hate being a prince of hell. I'm going to hate being a king of hell even more. <clears throat> I mean, how am I supposed to rebel against authority when I am the authority? Ugh. Not even beating the piss out of this goblin is cheering me up. <laughs> Damien continues to beat the piss out of the goblin, but his heart clearly isn't in it. I mean, is there anything rad I can do as king of hell? Literally anything? Uh, Damien has a uh, secret ending where he punches the sun. Wow. I want to see it. It's pretty fucking funny. Uh, you're forgetting oh. about the ultimate way to fight authority. Total war. Kings <laughs> of hell- oh. Oh oh oh, 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 I gotta oh. go with the war. I, I feel like, <laughs> oh yeah, war. I totally forgot about war. Probably because my dads are such lame asses. They keep going on about, what's, uh, what's the word? Diplomancy? Diplomonkey? Diplomacy? Am I saying that right? Diplomacy? Whatever. I'll have it taken out of their dictionary when I'm king. Suck in that, Webster. Damien's so excited he even stops strangling that go goblin. It sends you a message. Sen it sends you a, mas a massage coupon as a thank you. You gain plus two smarts and plus one boldness. And a coupon. <laughs> yeah. Everyone chooses a song. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Oh, I have to choose this one. I know what, what song I, I got. <laughs> I, I, I have no choice but to do this one. I'm trying to think of a song at least everyone would know. Um, oh, you on. get... Uh, you guys gotta know this one. I might. Hang on, I'm gonna Google a song real quick. I just need to see its name. David, you got a song? Yeah. All okay. Right. <laughs> I... Okay, I'm ready. You guys ready? Yeah. Yep. Alright. Three, two, one, go. The Bad Duck guy. Song. Yeah, wow. Court of the Crimson King. Baby by Justin Bieber. Hate you. God. Yeah, Did you well, I mean, song? mine was almost yeah, as bad. I said Bad Guy by Billie Eilish. Oh, yeah. God. And we had fucking ducks. How tortures to be after dying. Oh, well, I think I win that. 
Well, okay. I don't know, wait. Duck song and what was David's baby? Oh, God. Okay, well, I, I got yeah, last but, place. We know yeah, that. but I, I had a song by Billie Eilish. Is I'm the best song. Spirit, I can listen to Billie Eilish over fucking Justin Bieber, baby. And you yeah, uh, I mean, it's got a good beat. I'll okay. give it that. It, yeah, right. I have to give it If you want, Frank, you and I can flip a coin. No, it's fine. I think I, honestly, baby would drive me mad. It, yeah. But Duck Song would drive me fucking insane. Like, Duck I, I, I do. I, I, I do think Kermit wins that because yes, that yeah, would be absolute hell. Baby honestly, gets second. Honestly, I'm fine with that. The yeah. lemonade stand, yeah. and he says to the man running the stand, "Hey." All right. Yeah. After you die, you were forced to listen to song for yeah, definitely yeah. Duck Song. Oh my god. Hell yeah, first pick again. Oh, I don't All give right. a shit. Oh, no, there's Damien. Okay. I'm who's afraid that? to click. Hang on. Wait, who's that white dude? Uh, Wait, he's... Frank, did we, did we do the DLC for this? Yeah. Calculus and Zoe seen... are DLC. Ah. Oh, because yeah. I, I haven't seen Zoe once. She showed okay. up in the beginning. You gotta uh, remember, so no one really picked anything related to Zoe, so she's yeah. not yeah. here. She's yeah, the least like, she's one of the least likely to show up. Uh, well, I already know what I gotta go for. You like sitting with Calculuster and Polly at lunch because we need them eat, so you've got plenty of space on the table for all your uh, minifigs. Suddenly, Polly grabs Calculuster's arm and points excitingly at the vending machine in the corner. Calculuster, dude, don't look now, but that vending machine is totally checking you out. David? Yeah, no. Sorry, I'm texting Mike. Impossible. Veronica and I have a purely platonic relationship. No way, dude. Take a look at her insides. No drinks? Dude, she's thirsty. For drinks? For your shiny metal ass! Current status, highly uncomfortable <laughs> with this topic of conversation. This sounds like just the kind of thing that's none of your business. Time to interfere. <laughs> wow, Polly. So just because the fighting machine is a machine, you just assume she has feelings for another machine? It's pretty racist. <laughs> <laughs> Have you actually told uh, Ventron that you only want to be friends? Or is it, uh, time for a DTL? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. I kinda wanna call Polly a racist. I feel like that's bold. <laughs> I, I do it. think that's Calculester's act. I do. That is, that is. Woo! Yep. I didn't know that you were a machinist. This is disappointing. Did you know that Veronica's last partner was a slippery elm tree? Before that she dated a bottle of cream soda. These stereotypes are harmful to all but a uh, robo kind, Polly, and you are not being very robo kind. Oh. No, but I. Some of my best friends are robots. One of my best friends is a robot. One of my friends is a robot. It's a dildo. Please? <laughs> oh, not my friend. Same thing. They're both metal. Calculus allows Polly to remain friends <laughs> for now, but only because he likes friendship. That's one hardcore dildo, god damn. I'm metal. a metal dildo. <laughs> Checks her worldviews a bit. It seems like you more now, more based on your robo sensibility. All right, no stats. What are you doing? Good question. Just saying. <laughs> um, the vampire is an event. It, I, it's you just an event. Hunter. Yeah, there's also the monster hunter. But that would take Damien. Yeah. And you well, wouldn't you want try you, with Liam. Yeah. You wouldn't want to hurt. Uh, yeah, Ferris. but Liam's there. <laughs> Yeah. Fuck you, Liam, you stupid piece of garbage. <laughs> I'm tempted, because I, I can either block people off from going to the shop, or I can just... I don't think... Uh, Vlad's a guaranteed event, they'll, they'll probably give you stats. Yeah, I mean, I'm only the one... Oh, wait, oh, no, we got... Oh, no, yeah, whoever, I got fame, player, but... whoever this bitch is... I that don't know who... Oh, that'd be me. He's got, he's got a lot of money. I do I have seven this. monies. Oh, Damn. God. Wait, Dimitri's here? Doesn't he have somewhere better to eat lunch? Like an evil banquet or Tim Horns or something? I can see the confusion written upon your face. And I can assure you, I am not here to indulge my palate in the delicacy that is. Sloppy monster fries. Dimitri pulls out a clipboard and a sack of pamphlets. I am here on a recruiting mission. Tell me, have you ever considered the benefits of joining the dark side? Dun, dun, dun. The pay is great, whatever you can steal. We have a killer dental plan, fangs included. And the upward mobility is unbelievable because your superiors will constantly be killing each other. 
Plus, you get to go to bed each night knowing you helped make the world a little less safe. <laughs> you give Demetri a dip uh, disappointing <laughs> to your D-A-R-E t-shirt. <laughs> I still got Wow, mine. that's amazing. Oh, you've gone through dark arts resistance education, have you? Well, let me sweeten the deal then. How about a free trial of one dark side perk? Ooh. Sure, what's the worst that can happen? You ask him to explain. The art of monologuing about your evil planes in great detail when you have your enemies trapped in a compromising <laughs> position. How to rock a cape. Oh, man. <laughs> Both oh. these are so good. I don't I mean, look, he's got a beach towel is. and he's still rocking. Oh, David. Uh, uh, David, it's it's a stereotype that villains, like specifically like in James Bond movies, after they've captured the villain, will always Wait. monologue and tell them their exact plan. David doesn't know what monologuing is? No, David. I just didn't know what it meant. And yeah. Imagine every, every I don't story. know. I also don't know you what D A R E is. David. You worry. Oh, it's it's it? it was a drugs thing. It was a drug campaign years oh. ago. It was like just like dare to not dare do drugs. No, that dare was already over. Yeah. Wait, really? Dare, yeah, dude. Damn. Dare ended yeah, immediately. James, you're like two years older than us, of course. I'm one year older than you. Oh God, so old. Ninety-eight. No, he's still ninety-nine, yeah. actually. Oh, what a puss. Yeah. Mr. Yeah. Villain Boy. Frank. Stop there. vaping. That wasn't what I was doing. My mom was there. Oh, oh, okay. okay. You want to know how to monologue like a true villain, do you? How interesting. How very interesting indeed. Little do you know that this is exactly as I planned it. First, I shall teach you the rhetorical flourishes. The yeah, rhetorical flourishes that make up a truly intoxicating dark side modeling. And then you will be hooked. The first lesson is free, of course, but soon you will be begging, pleading with me to give you just one more fleeting glimpse at my dark thesaurus. Ooh, I don't like the sound of that. You fool. You have a stumbled straight into my insidious clutches. Once my grasping fingers close around the neck of your soul, there will be no escape. Hey, where are you going? I wasn't done with my monologue. <laughs> hey, bring back my wallets! <laughs> Okay, yes, that was all part of the first lesson of evil monologues. Make sure your victim is actually trapped in a compromising position before monologuing. You are an excellent pupil, and I look forward to working with you further. On the dark side. Now, will you please return my wallet? I have coupons in there. Amira? Coupons are the only thing that Dimitri has in his wallet. There's also plus four money. Nice. Great! The only stat I don't need right now. <laughs> You just sat down to eat with Damien and Liam. Well, to eat with Damien. Liam's just taking pictures of his food. Who just left? Oh, James did. Oh, God. Wi-Fi's gone. Oh, uh, I'm here. Uh, Already? Yeah, it's 11.30. 40. Oh, shit, it is. Yeah. Uh, um, hey, David, did you want to be James? <laughs> <laughs> Um, when a leather-clad figure drops from the air vent onto your table, it's the Slayer! Lunchtime's over, dirtbags! Time to die. Uh, I, I got this, I got this. Okay. This always happens when we sit together. You sound just like him, I hate that. Um, your death-based rhetoric is offensive. Don't spoil my food pick. Oh, I'll spoil more than your food pick, Count Stankula! I'm about to spoil your face! Just his thought, right? Or just just his though, right? Both your faces! <laughs> fuck! Just oh man, don't fuck my face! Not my face! His face, go for it! Fuck his face! <laughs> the Slayer's right between the three of you. You can't save Liam and Damien, but if you act fast, you might just be able to save one. He mobilized Dam Damien with the Lord's Prayer while he escapes. <laughs> My father, who art in heaven, fuck that man's face. <laughs> Wait, you want Damien though? I do. I do. <laughs> You've been waiting for this moment your whole life. Flip the table for justice! Normally when you flip tables, it's out of anger or mischief, but this is about the most righteous table flip ever performed. No! My footing! No! My artfully arranged cafeteria food! Yes! Fucking up school property! The Slayer ends up pinned under the table, along with Liam. Damien jumps down there and starts punching indiscriminately, not caring who he hits. 
So, you know, just another normal day for Damien. I never felt so alive. Offensive. Whatever. Let's have all the rest of the tables in the cafeteria while the flipping's going. You righteously flip every single table in the cafeteria. With each table you flip, you find Damien is flipping a little more for you. Hell yeah. So, David, you want to be James? <laughs> he has stats. <laughs> Oh, fuck him. <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> Buy him the gift that keeps on giving. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> Let's see. How much my bed's cold? Oh! <laughs> oh, but he gave him a ton of boldness. Uh, so I got boldness. What did I lose? Everything else. But you got 23 fucking boldness. It's not as bad oh, as Oh, it looks like I you got. gained some fun, too. Let's, Let's see. see. What do I have? Zero, except money and he has stats everybody chooses something bad say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking all right i got mine i'm thinking i'm thinking i'm thinking all right i'm ready david choose something bad say choice out loud. okay yeah sure all right three two one go leprosy jehovah racism all right I heard jehovah versus what was yours frank leprosy leprosy <laughs> the selected thing was part of a torture device or a legal punishment? Oh god! <laughs> I see think... Jehovah Witness. Jehovah Witness. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> a torture device? That's already torture enough. <laughs> yeah, but can you imagine? Strap that man to the leprosy device. I'm still very unfamiliar with leprosy as well. Let me look it it's up. It's the disease hey, where your skin falls off. Uh, I'm just saying, Ferret. Yeah. Imagine that. Ah. Sit that man on that chair and give him a Jehovah Witness. <laughs> be really funny to see. <laughs> you no. have to sit through their entire teachings and their fucking self bitch. I also like the idea of racism that same way. <laughs> All you have to do is just sit in a room with my stepdad, though. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh my god. Well, actually, the thing though, um, or with the Kina. Leprosy was probably already a torture. It actually already was a torture back then. That's true. They, they, yeah, so that's already. Is it been... actually? Yes. Uh, I'm gonna use one called the uh, the brazen bull, I believe it's called. Essentially, you get cooked alive. I'm assuming your skin's gonna melt off at that point. Um, there's a there was a lot of fucking medieval torture devices. I would yeah. not be surprised if one was about skin falling off. Um, shit, I don't know. Racism and Jehovah Witnesses. I should mention, this is a constant of Jehovah Witnesses. Go ahead, Renamit. God damn it. <laughs> I, <don't know. laughs> I got first and second. I've been guys. third every time. <laughs> it's my first time last place. Well, Alright, where are you going? Alright, right, no, right, no stat. <sighs> God. Remember, you're playing for two. What a, what a, I don't even... Who, who's Liam again? What does Liam want? Smarts? Yeah. I guess I might as well go for smarts then. Okay. That day you listen to your elders and learn valuable lessons. I just want to go to prom with someone. The past three times, or two times I've played, I haven't gotten to prom with anyone. That's probably not going to happen. Sometimes after, you're right, sometimes after all the most incessant dating gimmicks, you forget that attending class is supposed to be the primary activity at this high school. You gain plus two smarts. You're packing yourself after class when suddenly, coach person with Vera and Liam under his arms. Emergency, you two! Emergency! The student is failing the killing stair class! Vera, Liam, you're the best students in that class! You've gotta help her pass! I got oh, no, that was me. Uh, okay. excuse me. I can't possibly waste my time on this. My time is valuable. You'll be receiving an invoice. See? You already agree on something. I can feel the teamwork flowing. I've melted butter over a lobster of success. And becoming motivational is the carrot on the stick of victory. I'm gonna lock all four of us in this classroom until the student gives us the best killing stare in the whole school. Ugh. Okay. Show us what you got. And do it quickly, alright? You're ready to give your best killing stare. You focus as hard as you can. Ah. Uh. It looks as if you were trying to poop with all your heart. Not exactly a killing stare. Okay, let's start your training. 
three of you do a lot of crazy training while an inspirational song plays out of nowhere. It's all very motivational. After 30 second sequence, night has already come and all of you are covered in sweat. Damn, so intense. Fucking training sequences. <sighs> Time to escape this torment. Give us a true killing stare. Unless you want to slave the rest of us for days in the cocaine mines. That's right. I'll stuff a bunch of cocaine in the mine and make you dig it out just to torment you. You dig down to the bottom of your soul and bust out a look so fabulous it slays an or uh, or an ordinary pocket watch which you use to hypnotize Liam to liking something un. That's pretty I'm funny. Assuming, I'm assuming Vera is the first one. Probably. Uh, no. no. Vera would be. I, I think Vera would be the second one, but this is your chance to get revenge on Liam. I mean, you're gonna fail the stat check either way. Yeah. True. Yeah. You lock eyes with Liam, still your mind tense your muscles, and whisper Nickelback is rad. You engage in a desperate battle of wills. Unfortunately for you, Liam is a vampire, whereas you're an idiot. Um, were you trying to hypnotize me? Into liking Nickelback? Why would you attempt such an atrocity? Is Nickelback paying you? Do you actually like Nickelback? Oh dear lord, you do like Nickelback, don't you? You love them so much you use hypnosis to convert helpless victims into mindless fans. You know, I'd admire your deceivedness if it wasn't for the fact you're so bad at it, you loser. You'd be better off hypnotizing a wall instead of liking Nickelback. Walls don't have ears, you lose minus two charm and minus one <laughs> I'm in the negative! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, what the heck can you do? Fuck it, where's Bold at? Give me the bathrooms. <laughs> that day you visit Kitty. the bathrooms to take a number two. Don't worry, there won't be an illustration of that specific moment. The thing is, you can uh, you make one of your bold assistants in your life. You don't put paper in the toilet seat before using it. My God! Look at you, you crazy bastard! You gain plus two boldness and probably plus one <laughs> stuff with a slight chance of plus one STD. I wish those stats actually popped up. It'd be funny. In the middle of everything, a portal opens up and swallows Vera, Polly, and Liam. You dive in to rescue them and straight into... The final season of the Interdimensional Bachelor! I hate this guy. Good lord. Help. I'm in danger of straining my eyes from rolling them so hard. Oh my god, we're on a game show? Yes indeed! Tonight, you three will answer a series of trivial, I mean trivia, questions. Whoever gets the most points becomes my. I'm gonna win! I don't even care what the prize is! Your what? Your wife? What a revolting premise. So you're saying we're supposed to respond to a series of questions and scenarios. Our answers to which will make us more or less likely to achieve a romantic outcome with you? That's extremely problematic. I can't think of anyone who would ever want to play such a tawdry dating game. Everybody stop raising reasonable concerns so I can hear the first question. That's the spirit. Question number one. Describe your ideal marriage proposal. But before Polly can answer, you buzz in yourself. Now's your chance to give an answer that will end the competition at Prince Packing. <laughs> I present you with my grandmother's wedding ring, still attached to my naked grandmother. Jar on hinges, bees pour out. What the fuck? I forgot about that. I had this event before I forgot that that was the second, that was one of the options. Jaw on hinges, bees pour out. So, what was the question again? Oh, wait, what is your ideal marriage proposal? <laughs> yes! <laughs> You unhinge your jaw and let the bees pour out, you definitely couldn't do this back in your home dimension. Ah, uh, stop that! You're supposed to answer with words, not bees! Probably should have specif uh, specified that. Bees seem more like a legitimate answer to me. What? Are you against avant-garde forms of expression? Words are so passe. Aw oh, man, I was gonna say bees! You totally stole my answer! Wait, wait, I got it! Polly and just her ghostly jaw and thousands of locusts pour out. Damn, you wish you thought of that locusts are way cooler. It doesn't matter though, the prince is so busy fending off bugs, he can't focus on keeping you in his dimension and you all teleport back home. 
You're pleased with your victory, although your throat is a little hoarse, which is ironic because a little hoarse isn't what came out of your mouth. You gain plus two creativity and plus one bold. Is is that ironic though? <laughs> yes. All right. Cause I'm fun. That day during recess, you start a half-hour rave that goes full crazy. Uh, everything's fine until so Juan, the small magical Latino cat, asks you what you think you're doing. Damn. He didn't remember you suck at dancing, but you said to go all in and pretend to do dance. Move. Apparently called the Groovy Musaka? Juan looks at you and he asks you to teach him the Groovy Musaka. In no time, half the party is following your steps, enjoying the Groovy Musaka all together. It's a party to remember. You gain plus two fun and a cool story to tell your grandkids someday. It's later when you're minding your own business and definitely not doodling pictures of Damien in your notebook. When you say Damien making his way over to you, at which point you definitely do not need to hide your no drawings. Yo! So here's the thing. You know how I think most people are pretty much 100% awful, awful fuck doors? I actually think you're only 70% awful fuck doors. Chops. In fact, I actually think you're kind of rad. Fuck yeah! I've been meaning to get a new tattoo since nothing's as rad as intentionally sticking needles into yourself. To create a permanent image on your skin for fucking ever. I have some of those. And I thought maybe you could get matching tattoos. If you can come up with something rad for us. OMG OMG OMG! It's your chance to once and for all convince Damien of how awesome you are. Don't fuck this up. It's time to suggest the baddest, raddest, maddest tattoo of all time. Which is... An on fire <laughs> pentagram made out of pentagrams. And those pentagrams are made out of guns that shoot pentagrams. And the pentagrams are on fire. And the fire is on fire. A sea cucumber. <laughs> now the problem is, are they actually gonna make us do the pentagrams for him, or is he just gonna be like, oh, well, my, my thing here pretty hot. is we have the obvious answer and the fun answer. I know, and here's the thing: this is a hundred percent gonna be creativity, and <laughs> this is probably boldness. What? Wait, what if the sea cucumber's boldness? God, I don't know. <laughs> Look, uh, I'm just saying, I'm just saying a sea cucumber is pretty badass. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> uh, I gotta go with this. Yeah, I knew it was bold. Alright. Oh. My. Fuck. That's the most metal thing I've ever heard. I made a good choice with you. Maybe the pentagrams that are pentagrams can be made of pentagrams that are pentagrams. And the fire can be sentient. And the pentagrams can hate their deadbeat uncle. <laughs> I want to take that line and go to an actual tattoo artist and go, what would this look like? Uh, I, I mean, I'm actually going to a tattoo artist soon. I'll ask for you. Okay. And the friends at a Bud TV, because they won't eat their vegetables, and maybe we'll get a sea cucumber. The pentagram, pentagram, pentagrams are also the next comics. These will be the raddest tattoos ever. Let's go get them right now and have them on both our bodies together forever. Hot. What? You're about to get a badass matching tattoos with Damien. This is the raddest, coolest, dopest, most lit thing to have ever happened. And now you'll be tied together for eternity. You gain the sickest tattoo of all time, as well as plus two boldness and plus one charm. Hey guys, it's me. <laughs> yeah. I can go smartness or creativity. Uh, well, considering you're, uh, well, no, you can't go smart. I wasn't yeah. smart. Hey, fuck you. Which I now have only one smart and negative two whatever else. Charm. Was. That day, while rehearsing for the class play, you aren't especially good or nor inspiring. For once it seems you aren't getting the classic creativity boost from the auditorium. But afterwards, while talking to your classmates, you have trouble convoying your point uh, in a discussion. So you decide to convoy convey it through music. You now go ahead singing. and convoy it, man. Okay, I got you. And suddenly everyone else joins you in a kick-ass musical number. It's so amazing that the people with whom you were arguing totally gets your point and change their minds once the song is over. Game plus your creativity. A few minutes later, Calculuster approaches you. You can tell he's nervous because all his fans are running at maximum speed. Hello, friend Vicky. My calculations indicate that I possess greater than average amorous feelings in relation to you. I am considering upgrading our relationship to more than friends. However, quantitative analysis of the relevant data of our data pools indicates a disturbing trend. If a potential love just cannot get along with their partner's parent, relationship success for probability drops to zero zero point zero zero six percent. Oof. 
I have what you organics would call a good relationship with the library computers that function as my parental or parental units. I would like you to meet them and receive their blessings. Since you are such a kind, uh, upstanding individual, this should not be an issue. Oh, fuck. Any of those uh, uh, adjectives accurately describe you. More accurate would be horny and horny. Well, looks like you gotta uh, to co concoct a brilliant plan to woo Calculus's parents. Offer to defragment their hard drives for them. Isn't that like a head massage for computers? Learn binary so you can converse with them in their native tongue. I don't think I'm smart enough. One zero zero one zero zero one one. What did you Both just say? Would be pretty good, I guess. I, I'm trying to figure out. Like, I, I feel like that's this is gonna be smarts. That's, what would this yeah. Be? Um, is it, maybe charm? charm. I don't know. I think I'm gonna go with this one. No, that was smart. That's okay. smart. Um, that's upsetting. You immediately. Oh, that's oh, deep. Not my uh. Gotcha. Things on red. Hang on. My connection is on red. They're gonna see if that goes back. No, okay, I'm gonna just leave where we them. Okay. Yeah, this is gonna kick me out anyway. I, I, I actually feel like both of them were smarts. That might be, yeah. I might have gotten cucked there. Alright. You immediately sprint to the library and start defragging. You didn't get this far in life by thinking about your decisions. Oh, yeah. Gotta click again? Yeah. Okay. 80% of the way through the process, Calculus comes running into the library after you. A look of simulated terror on his computer face. What are you doing? Are you defragmenting them? You remember to back them up, right? Haha! <laughs> what? Backups are for losers. Backups are not for losers, Vicky. You have just destroyed every happy memory my parents have of them. Oh my god! I must cancel our date now in order to spend the next 48 hours manually reminding the parents of our shared past. Oh my god. This day has been a disaster. Goodbye. You wish you could destroy the memory of how badly you fucked up just now, but you can't. Some said you lose the negative uh, charm and one boldness. Oh, that was sad. You know, I might have actually gotten enough hearts for him to make us work, though. Yeah. Oh, great. Let's see who I'm going with, huh? Yeah, who could it possibly be? Fuck it. Let's try Liam. Oh boy. You go by yourself. All right, I Chad. Yeah, if you click on your character. Oh god, fucking Tess. Who's who's bold? Um, bold would be. Bold would be him. Damien. No, no, he's fun. No. Bold is Damien, but he's got a oh, lot yeah. of points with Polly already. I was Might as well. Say. Yeah, just commit it to Polly. Damien is <laughs> mine. Fuck what? That's why I was like, I don't want to go for Damien because I know you. Uh, yeah, two people can go for him. Yeah, uh, you can only say I'm one yes, yes, one per uh, yes to one person though. Can you say yeah, uh, no to both? Yeah. All right. You finally, plug up your courage and ask your beloved to go to prom with you. You, you and me. me? <laughs> yeah, I'm not figured. I'd be that so is. predictable. Don't be a fool. Also, right now, I date blue in an object, so harass me with your narrow mind with respect to my sexual preferences. Clearly, this was too much for you. You abandon high school and spend the rest of your life designing a robot for sex purposes. David, you got me an achievement. Got the best at failing. It rejected you, too. Great. Right. You finally pick up your courage and ask love to go to the prom with you. What? Oh! <laughs> Not a chance Lord. in the world, darling. I really, I am so tempted to alt F4 right now. <laughs> you can. I hate this game so fucking much. Oh, you weren't gonna not stand a chance in the world, darling. Poor little choices. Poor this is how I die. So now I can't. Blah 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 blah. blah. I don't give a fuck. All right, it's, it's on me now. Finally, pluck up your courage and ask your beloved to watch the problem with you. Oh no! <laughs> it's because of, it's cause of the last sequence. Uh, oh, going to prom together. Uh. Uh, I mean, low battery, oh. levels, can't respond to awkward questions, oh. shutting down, beep boop, failing at monster prom, failing at monster prom. prom, oh, never mind. <laughs> failing at monster prom is broke the essential process of growing up in your life. You become fixated on it, and you never become a functional adult. Now you're just an old person that sits at parks and talks to strangers by the time you almost got a date to monster prom. It is as weird and as, as sad as it sounds. It's literally because of the smartness check at the end there. Oh, That's definitely. Yep. Yeah. You finally pluck up your courage and ask your beloved to go to the monster prom with you. Prom? I guess we can get so wasted and we end up burning stuff down, right? Fuck yeah! This sounds like a rad date to me. Let's burn stuff down together till dawn. Hell yeah, babe. Ooh. 
prom was great. You crashed your limit into the wall of the school, and it was the best entrance ever. Everybody had a great time dancing under the lovely light of a car on fire. Well, that's a GG. Uh, Vicky, most likely to devour her own children to survive. This is true. I'm over 400, and I'm still amazed at how stupid people are here. Yep. All right. This game fucking sucks, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you didn't really... Okay, like, you had to pick up uh, his character, and we don't know what he was actually working on. Yeah. Well, there's... I don't even think he knows what he was working on. In the future, maybe just don't get the mystery gift. That no, does no, seem to have fucked you. <laughs> Both times, yeah. it's fucked me. Yeah. Those two weeks were maybe the most epic and absurd weeks of our lives. After the monster prom, we kept on living our lives, falling in love, battling for friendship, and learning about who we were and who we could be. And you know what? Like it always does, life happened, and it was wonderful. Damien became an interior designer specializing in torture machines. Aw, bae. <laughs> Last month, Vogue magazine called his products the refined marriage between Macabre and Chick. Calculester uploaded his mind into the net and finally became the internet. Now surfing the web is 200% nicer. Nice. Polly's drug cooking skills proved useful and she became a chemist for the pharmaceutical industry. But in her free time, she still cooks the real shit. Her greatest inventions so far are watermelon flavored ecstasy and a thing called LS Dope. For those two weeks, the Monster Prom seemed larger than life, and then it was gone, just like that. The battle for Monster Prom might have ended then, but there were plenty of battles left in that war called youth. But once again, we were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. And skip. Uh, six new images! Let's check what those are before I learn. I, I still feel like that last fucking check fucked me, and I feel like they're both were, um... Uh, what's it called? Uh, so I, smart yeah. check. Definitely seemed I, like it. I, don't, I didn't see it working in any other way. Yeah, you already got all of them. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Uh, Polaroids. I'm ready to experiment oh, yeah. with you. Oh, I love it. Uh, all of these are great. Honestly. I need to play more characters than Oz. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I think I think like all of us together though, we already got her main characters. Yeah, we we've, we've got a lot of them. Uh, I still love that one. That's awesome. Yeah, that's the one that James got yesterday. Yeah, it's sweet. I uh I have to actually win one for once. More art. All right, let's see. Uh, Miranda right. design concept. Okay. What's the other one? Ah. Evil Faith. I still wish you could date the goth girls. You can. I want to. Uh, I don't have the items unlocked, but once I do, I'll let you know. Fuggers. Yeah. That's cute. I like that. Yeah. Uh, there's an orgy ending. I don't want to see that just yet. We'll get to there when we get there. Uh, well, you have to successfully date everyone and get one of their secret endings, so I'm a little ways away from that still. Uh, we've. we've successfully dated Damien, Miranda, and Polly. Uh, and that's it. I think I'm gonna go Vera next time. Mm. Um, I've got a secret ending for Polly and Scott and Zoe. So I've still got a secret ending for everyone else. Well, we've got time. Uh, yeah, but I'm probably gonna call it a night tonight. Gotcha. Um, and end recording. Alright.